Yes, guys. Yes, people. We are back for another live stream, back for another video. I'm actually recording this video um, during the live stream because I don't really have a lot of time. But we're here to discuss all the latest transfer news surrounding Chelsea. Mason Mounts to Arsenal is making some serious headway. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about this whole Chucky Mecca situation because I can't lie, Lampard is taking the piss out of him. And some of his quotes have only just shown to me that he cares more about protecting his PR than he does about what's best for Chelsea. Because the lineup I saw on Sunday was an absolute disgrace, especially after the, the City lineup and the way that they set up. Because City basically handed us three points or a point, depending on our ability. They handed it to us on a silver fucking plate. And what did we do? We just gave it straight back to them. So we're going to talk about that situation. We're going to touch on Kovacic as well, just before we wrap up this video. But yeah, before I do that, I actually want to get into Lampard stuff first, because this really pissed me off. We brought Chakumeka back from the Under-20 World Cup because of midfield injuries. But we decide not to play him. Lampard decides to come out in his interview and say, well, pre-match interview, and say that the next three games are an opportunity for players to, to impress the manager. So why don't you play players that deserve an opportunity to impress the manager? Because I didn't see that. I saw Sterling. I saw Havertz. I saw Gallagher again. I saw Azpilicueta at right back in big 2023. For what reason? For what reason? At the Etihad, like the nerve. I love Aspi, he's a Chelsea legend. But what is he trying to achieve with that? Aspi is not cut out for the top game anymore. He's not good enough at an elite level. Cole Palmer, a guy who has barely broken into the Manchester City team, cooked him alive. This isn't even like a Phil Foden who's been in and out of the squad, but you know his ability and has shown it consistently at the top level. This is a newbie. A newbie roasting our, one of our right backs alive because he got put in a position to do that because he's just not good enough. Where was the opportunities? Because other than Lewis Hall, I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. That is embarrassing. That is absolutely embarrassing. And then he says he doesn't want to play Chaku Mecca because he wants to. He needs to do what's best for his job. He's got to look out for his job. Those are the words that came from Frank Lampard. Brother, you are not here in a week. In a week's time, you are not Chelsea manager anymore. Six days too soon, personally. Six days way too soon of the way you've managed us over the last month. I use the term managing very loosely. But th these games are meaningless. They're pointless. And these are the sorts of games where you have to prioritise the players who haven't been given a lot of opportunities. When you were here the first time at Chelsea, your priority is focusing on the youth, giving the youth opportunities. Now you take away their opportunities. This is who you've become. You have managed to regress as a manager from your first spell back to now. And I didn't even think that was possible. Chuck Umeka deserves an opportunity. What the hell Havertz is doing up top for a full 85 minutes and then Pulisic, fucking Pulisic, playing up front, I won't understand. That is an embarrassment. Fafana didn't even get opportunities off the bench. Didn't even get opportunities off the bench. Mudrick left on the bench for no reason. So he could play Sterling. For what? Hadway can probably been our best forward under Lampard. Dropped. And off the bench again. For no reason. The stuff that this manager does makes no sense. And this 1-0, uh, that should have been a positive for us of how crap we've been. But with the way City set up for us, we should have been doing so much more. But we didn't set up for that. We set up to lose. We set up to fail. And that's what happens when you have a failure of a manager. Lampard is an embarrassment. He doesn't care about what's best for us. He cares about what protects him. He cares about what's protects him. And that's experience. And I'm tired of it. I'm done with it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. We can move to the whole Mason Mount situation. I was going to start with that, but I needed to get this thing about Lampard off my chest because it's just fucking pissing me off. Mason Mount, though, has strong links to Arsenal. David Ornstein's reported saying Arsenal want to add creativity in a more advanced position and that has fueled the pursuit of Mason Mount. 
although there is strong competition from Liverpool and United, while Chelsea will make a final push to extend his contract. Sharks are circling for Mason Mount. The war over Mount is going to be very interesting over the next month because I think this is going to be suited before July. <laughs> because I think Chelsea still want to get some profit on their books with FFP lurking around. Seeing a rise for Genio and Mount Midfield would be a bit of a laugh, but I kind of don't want to sell him to Arsenal. I think Arteta would get a tune out of him. Like, you know me, I've been saying sell Mount all season because he's poor and he doesn't want to re-sign. But in spite of all that, I do believe Pochettino gets a tune out of him. I do believe Arteta will get a tune out of him as well. Same thing to Klopp, same thing with Ten Hag. I just don't think we have a lot of room to manoeuvre with here. The overarching problem is the contract. If Mount doesn't re-sign within the next, ma- the next month, Mason Mount is leaving. Be it to Arsenal, be it to United, be it to fucking Liverpool. Bayern Munich has had some links. I would rather him go to Bayern so we don't have to deal with him playing for a rival, him potentially balling out and all the Mount FC crying in my mentions and everyone's mentions like, oh, we shouldn't have sold Mason Mount. Oh, da, da. He's a generational talent and all of this crap. Shut up because he's not even a game changer like that. That's why I don't mind him leaving because he's not worth what he wants. He's not um, a must-keep. I don't see him like Eden Hazard. Eden Hazard was someone you keep and just give a contract to with whatever money they want. Same thing with Kante. Same thing with Asby in his prime. Thiago Silva, Rhys James, Enzo, Fafana. That's it. That's it. Personally, if you're not in that bracket of players, you haven't proven yourself enough to be asking for whatever you want. Even Enzo hasn't, but like, Enzo came off the player of the tournament in the World Cup. So at least he had a little bit of something to his chest. Mason Mount, though, like, I, I think he'll do pretty well at Arsenal. I think he'll start for them, too. He'll likely play in Xhaka's role. I don't want to see him there, though. I don't know why. He'd, well, I was going to say he should be proper Chelsea and everything, but he isn't. And he's proper Pompey. And if Rice goes there as well, which Arsenal and Rice are very strongly linked together. I could see Mount want to go there too. It means he doesn't have to uproot his life. He can stay in London. He can play with his best friends, Declan Rice in the changing rooms and all of that. And yeah, it'll be a happy move for him. I think it would work. I genuinely think it would be a good transfer. But let's see who wants him abroad. If Bayern want him, send him on the first flight to Munich. Accept their first offer, even if it's less money. But I know Chelsea are thinking financially, so it's not going to work like that. And it's going to be all about just selling Mount for the most amount of money. So if that's the case, make them all fight with each other. Raise up a bidding war and see who's the winner at the end of that. See who the winner is at the end. Um, I'm bored of this whole Mason Mount situation. You guys know that I've been tired with it. Let's just see what happens with Mason Mount over the next month. Wherever you go. Thank you for 2021, but you've been a bit mid other than that. Not really been worth the hype, but I feel like Arteta will get a little bit more out of him. Arteta is a good coach. As much as I hate Arsenal, as much as I will run the anti-Arsenal train and all of that, he is a good manager. We have to be real with it. We have to call it what it is. Let's see who wants him abroad. Let's see who wants him abroad. I'm not with the Chelsea fans, though. Like, just give Mason Mount what he wants. No, shut up. Mount's been shit for 18 months. Like, no, don't give him what he wants. Don't fuck up our wage structure for the next seven years and have Mason Mount on stupid wages so every midfielder and forward who's linked with us can point at him and say, ah, I want more than him. We had the same problem with Timo Werner. His wages meant we had to give Sterling 300k a week. We had to give Lukaku 325 because of Kepa's situation, we can't sell him because no other goalkeeper will give him that money. And um, what's his name? Edward Menti wants 170 k So clearly, that doesn't work. If Mason Mount doesn't want to sign for what we need him to sign for, fuck off. Leave. Simple as that. Other than that, <laughs> I saw Kovacic is linked to Bayern as well, but Tuchel wants him as a six. If that's true, Tuchel, your talent ID is stinky, bro. I, I wouldn't keep um, Kovacic anywhere near a six position. I wouldn't even bring him to my team, personally. Like I'm glad to see the back of Kovacic the way he's been this season. He has been absolutely pathetic. And he looks like he wants to leave. It's like he's down tools and everything. 
See you. Thanks for the memories. Goodbye. Goodbye. It's not worth even discussing. But yeah, other than that, like it is long. It is long trying to hear people defend Mason Mount. It's long hearing Lampard in the press conference. It's long watching Chelsea. Everything is just dead. Six more days, people. Six more days and the season is over. And we can look forward to a long mental holiday. Big up everybody that's locked in though. Like, subscribe. Let me know your, all your thoughts in this video. And as always, up the Chels. Up the Chels. <laughs>